okay, now we're going to convert a polar equation to a rectangular form. Uh, in this case, probably linear, but possibly not. Maybe a, a conic, we don't know yet. But all the information that we have is that theta is equal to 5 pi 6. Well, remember, when we are converting x and y to r and theta, the theta is equal to inverse tangent y over x. Well, we already know the theta, so we're not going to use an inverse. So, but what we're going to do, and think about your algebra skills, if you do something to one side, you do it to the other side, those equality properties, right? So we're going to take tangent theta of both sides because five by six is on the unit circle and we can discover, we can look at what five pi, tangent of five pi six, we have to do a little bit of math, but we can determine that. So if you don't have what tangent of all of the pi sixes are positive and negative this certain number, memorize this is what you do. You locate pi pi six and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So one half divided by negative root three over two. And then remember, we don't want a fraction over a fraction. So we're gonna take that denominator and multiply by its reciprocal. So negative two over root three, that gets rid of the denominator. But since we multiplied the denominator, we have to multiply the numerator by the same thing. And so now we have tangent of five pi six. Well, positive times a negative is a negative. But look, at the twos cancel, leaving one over root three. We can't have a root three in the denominator. Uh, you remember all your simplifying skills, so we multiply numerator and denominator by root three. So now we know tangent of five pi six is negative root three over three. Remember, cosine is negative in the second quadrant, and so is tangent. Sine and cosecant are the only ones positive. I'm gonna go ahead, if you need to write this down, Pause the video because I'm going to erase it right now just to get it out of the way. And I'm going to cover this, oops, cover this stuff back up just so. All right. So now we have tangent theta is equal to tangent 5 by 6. Well, we just discovered what tangent of 5 by 6 is negative root 3 over 3. And what do we know about tangent? If you look at your identities, if you look at the identity sheet, tangent theta is the same as sine theta over cosine theta. It's also one over cotangent, but why is getting it in this form important? Because remember, x is r times cosine theta, and y is equal to r sine theta. So if we can get sines and cosines back into this, eventually, once we have it as r cosine, we can rewrite it as x, and r sine, we can rewrite as y. So I'm gonna rewrite tangent as sine over cosine, and because these eventually need to be separated, I'm gonna multiply both sides by cosine theta. Perfect, we have them separated. Well, that says sine theta, but we need it to say r sine theta. That says cosine theta also has negative root uh, three over three, but we're missing the r. And remember r equality properties. If you do something to the left side to keep things equal, so I'm just gonna multiply r to both sides. I think that's what I did here. And now look at what I have r sine theta. Well, what can r sine theta be replaced with? y. So r sine theta is now y, and this r cosine theta 
can now be replaced with x. Ta-da! There is our rectangular, in this case linear, rectangular equation, which started off as this polar equation. All right, that's it for this one. Hope it was helpful.